Steve Wadden and his dog, Nova, have been living in a tent in this Charlottetown parking lot. I just, this just seems right for me right now. Some of it can be okay, but uh, it's, it's very rough. It's hard out there nowadays. I guess the population has risen and um, there's not enough uh, housing. Across Canada, city officials are trying to figure out how to deal with homeless encampments. Halifax recently ordered people living in a West End park to leave and said police could be called in. The city states that they do have designated parks, but those designated parks are unsafe and the people weren't consulted on the sites, so they don't feel safe there, so they don't want to go there. Last summer, Toronto police clashed with protesters when officers moved to clear a large encampment in a popular West End park. Montreal has cleared some camps too and is looking to hire a liaison officer to help dismantle others that pop up. It says encampments are not a safe or sustainable solution to homelessness. Yeah, there's more. In, in but advocates say simply right shutting them down now. doesn't help. We agree with the city that uh, the campments are not a long-term solution to the housing crisis. Or we encourage them actually to lead an effort and to provide affordable housing solutions to the people in the camps. Leilani Farha visited people in homeless encampments as the former UN Special Rapporteur on the right to adequate housing. They are human rights holders and they're making a claim. They're saying, hey, I have the right to adequate housing and there is no other place for me to find that right, to, to live that right. And so I'm going to roll out my sleeping bag or pitch my tent here because I have no other options. She says the and main goal should be affordable and secure housing for everyone, with all levels of government working towards that, along with those living in tents now. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.